Welcome to Jibble, your all-in-one time tracking and attendance management solution. Today, we're looking at how to manage people on Jibble. Start by heading to the People tab. Here, you will have an overview of all the members in your organization, with details such as their group, work schedule, holiday calendar, and more. You can customize your display as needed by clicking on the column icon on the right. To find a certain member, you can use the search bar. A number of filtering options are also available allowing you to view members by roles, or you can view the role someone is assigned to in your organization, such as admins, managers, and members. Groups which allows you to view members by specific groups or departments within the organization. Positions, where you can view members by their job titles in the organization. Managed by, displaying information about who each member reports to within the organization. Statuses, showing the current status of each member, whether they are not invited, pending, or have already joined your organization. Face data, allowing you to search for team members that have already set up their face data or are missing the setup. Last active, showing the time frame when each member was last active on Jibble. Work schedule, showcasing individuals on the same work schedules. Holiday calendar, allowing you to filter members by their assigned holiday calendars. And kiosks, where you can view members based on their assigned kiosks. You can also use multiple filters at once to refine your results. To customize their individual profiles, click on a team member. Then click the edit button here at the top to update the member's personal details. Roles, position, as well as assign them to a group, work schedule, and add them to a certain holiday calendar. Below, you have a view and edit option of their contact information, as well as their assigned member code, billable rate, joining date, and kiosk pin verification number. You can also adjust each member's time zone and timesheet time zone so that their clock ins and clock outs are recorded accurately, according to their local time. If a certain member is no longer active within the organization, you also have the option to archive their account. Historic data of archived members can be searched for, and they can be restored via the Archive Members tab, right here. If you wish to edit multiple profiles at the same time, you can select multiple members at once by checking the box here. Then, assign them in bulk to a work schedule, holiday calendar, and kiosks or unassign them. Additionally, you can also archive members in bulk or edit additional fields such as roles and billable amounts by clicking Edit via the ellipsis icon. If you wish to create a new group with the selected employees, click on Create New Group. Then input a group name, assign a group manager if needed, and Add or remove members as needed. For managing groups on a larger scale, navigate to the Groups tab. Here, you can create groups by clicking the Create Group button. Enter a group name, assign a group manager if necessary, and add members. All your created groups will be listed here. And can be filtered by schedules, holiday calendar, and kiosks. You can also use the search bar to quickly find a certain group. If you wish to edit multiple groups at the same time, you can select multiple groups at once. Then, assign them in one go to a work schedule, holiday calendar, and kiosks, or unassign them, depending on your needs. Additionally, you can also delete groups in bulk or edit additional fields such as group managers and activities by clicking Edit via the ellipsis icon.
When you click on a group, you'll see the members assigned to the group along with their details. You can also customize your display as needed by clicking on the column icon on the right. To add additional members to the group, click on the Add Member button. Select the members from your organization, then click Save. On the left side of each group page, you can customize group settings. This includes assigning specific activities to the group by clicking on the pencil icon and selecting Activities. All group members will be limited to these activities when clocking in. You can also assign a work schedule and holiday calendar to the group. Additionally, you can assign the group to kiosks for easy access. Click on the cog icon to access group settings. Here, you can rename the group and assign or remove group managers. Under the Advanced Settings section, you can configure time tracking settings specific to the group, overriding the organization's default settings. For example, you can restrict group members to clock in only via mobile apps, while allowing other members in your organization to clock in via all types of devices. Once you've made your selections, click Save. If you don't want to configure specific settings for a group, Leave the default settings box checked. If needed, you can also delete a group by simply clicking on the Delete Group button right here. And that's how to manage people on Jibble. Should you have any queries, feel free to check out our Help Center or reach out to our customer service. Happy Jibbling!